All right, making some progress. Whoa. Yerp too. Sounds right. Yerp. All right. We back. What is it? Oh, geez. Cray already being sassy. Okay. Where were we? Oh, yes. We're looking for some sort of outpost. Oop. This looks outpost-ish. Hold it right there. We've got you surrounded. Great. Just what we needed. Mandalorians. Hands up. I'm surprised you got this far. The jungle doesn't usually let its prey go that easily. What are you doing here? Hmm. What is with Mandalorians in this damned moon? Uh... We claimed yeah. this moon decades ago, when we reforged ourselves after Exar Kun's defeat. Some of us call it home. Why he sounds kind of quiet. Trespassing here? I was exploring. Um... I was thinking of starting a Zerka office here. This is a lot of untapped potential. <laughs> Um, our ship crashed and we were forced to land here. We expected as much. Few visit Duxon by choice. We have orders to escort you to our camp. Our leader wants to speak to you. Oh. This may prove of use to us. Let us hear his words and see if they hold any value. All right. Um, and if I refuse? You are coming with us. I'm supposed to escort you peacefully, but the alternative is quite acceptable. So your choice is follow us as our guest or see how Mandalorians have earned their reputation. Ooh. Take me to your camp then. There's no need for this. But I wasn't doing exploring. Rude. Rude. Wow. Pretty nice establishment you got here, Mandos. Whoa. Okay. They're doing their uh, Ichani practices, apparently. Same movements. Hmm. Pretty nice. Hello? Who dat? Who dat? <gasps> it's him. It's him. So you're the intruder. Our sensors picked up your handiwork in space. I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. Hmm. I thought the Mandalorians were disbanded. They're scattered, perhaps. But we're still alive. Alive and rebuilding. Mm. The only Mandalorians that I have seen are thugs. Many Mandalorians have fallen from the path of honor and are now no more than common mercenaries. But that is changing. Hmm. What is this place? This used to be the heart of the Mandalorian war effort. From this complex, we commanded an armada that had the Republic on the run. It didn't last. Hmm. Your camp looks like it's seen better days. Covert camps are not meant to attract attention. Because we conquered them, the people of Onderon still hold a grudge against the Mandalorians. Mm, what's so up with that? Our presence here a secret. Why did you use uh Mandalorians have a rapport with this jungle. Every moment here is a struggle. All creatures gripped in a constant war for survival. The sole purpose of the weak is to feed the strong. We train here and learn the lessons of the jungle. The beasts also help us keep our edge. I'm trying to get to Onderon. Do you know how I can get there? So it's transportation you want. It so happens I have a small shuttle that's more than capable of running the Onderon military blockade. I make occasional trips to Isis for information and supplies. If you want to go with me, you're going to have to prove your worth. Mm. Why do you go there? It's Mandalorian business, not yours. Can't you tell me more than that? I could, but I don't know you. Mm. Once I get to know you, I might tell you more, but not now. Hmm. Why do I have to prove myself to you? I don't travel with anyone I'm not sure of. You look capable.
capable, but Isis can be a dangerous place. If you want to travel on my shuttle, I want to make sure you aren't going to be a liability. Okay. Everyone thought that Mandalore was dead, killed during the war. Mandalore is the name we give to our leader. Becoming Mandalore is the greatest honor any Mandalorian could aspire to. When our leader falls in battle, the most worthy takes his place. So even though your army killed our leader, it was only a matter of time before we chose someone new. Me. <laughs> I'll be going now. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. Nice. Be careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you. Okay. What do you want? You want to talk anymore? Have I proven myself yet? <laughs> so far, you haven't done anything. True. Check back when you've done something You're pretty good. My time. Is there anything you can think of I can do for you? There is one thing. Before your ship landed, we were preparing some demolition work. All the activity forced my men to stop before they finished. The charges need to be detonated before anybody comes across them, so all you'd have to do is flip the switch. Okay, that sounds too easy. You asked if there was anything you could do, and I told you. Nothing in this jungle is as simple as it seems, though. Okay. What were you going to blow up? We were trying to uncover the entrance to a hidden cache of old Mandalorian equipment. The explosives should be easy to find. Just get to it before the Canucks do. Hmm. How big are the caches? They're not much more than a couple of plasteel cylinders. Before you get any bright ideas, if you uncover cache B-13, leave it alone. Even if you survive the traps, it would require military-grade explosives to open without the proper access codes. What's inside belongs to the Mandalorians. <clears throat> What are in them, though? The last months before Duxon fell, the old Mandalore knew that Revan and the Republic were gaining the upper hand. He ordered our best engineers to hide caches of weapons and munitions throughout the moon, safely away from the enemy's hands. Why didn't the Republic just dig them out? Don't you think they tried? It's real easy to hide things in a jungle. Even when they found some of our caches, our engineers left them some presents. <laughs> How would Canox be a problem? Canox are nothing more than pests, but they have a real talent for screwing up plans. Just get to those explosives in the next day or so, and you'll be fine. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. I'll let Kex know that you check out. Be okay. careful in the jungle. Okay. All right. Heard. Anything over here? What do you want? Oop, nothing. Okay, all right, all right, Mandalore, chill. If that's your real name. All right. Let's do some stuff. Let's start with this. Probably handle these guys. Zarga. So, you are the Jedi that Camp's been talking about. Are you planning on exploring the jungles to the south? I might. Who are you? I'm Zarga. I instruct our RAR Mandalorian RAR. in the ways of discipline <laughs> and battle. I sent one of my warriors, Kumas, into the jungle. It's been three Rar. days, and I want you to bring back his corpse and his survival pack. Are you sure he's dead? If Kumas wasn't dead, he'd be back already. If you find his body, just bring it back. Okay. But why do you want the body? Mm, good point. I don't want his body, just his equipment. Field strip the corpse and bring the gear back. Okay. If I find his body, I'll bring back his gear. Found Kumas' body yet? Still exploring. Take your time. Okay, so... I guess I gotta do that before anything else with that guy. I think I can do, like... During the war, we abandoned our headquarters Whatever it is they're doing. Okay. Zuka! Alright, stand back. Let's see if that... Australian, space Fish Australian. Blood. Fixing anything in this rot infested place is an uphill battle. What seems to be the problem? This jungle attacks anything made by man. 
restoring the generators and Yikes, computer well, systems yikes. is no easy task. I've had some practice restoring computer systems, if you need a hand. I'll take whatever help I can get. Whatever wires and tech haven't been corroded by the jungle are at least ten years old. Hmm. I'm trying to get the relay dish operational, but several components are broken and need repair. Without the relay, we're vulnerable to attack, especially right now. Mm. Your especially. space metal may have attracted unwanted attention, and our shuttle sensors can't cover the whole moon. Then let's get to work fixing it. Oh, it seems just about everything involved with a relay dish is broken. I've been trying to fix it for weeks and still no success. If you think you can help, there's the broken cables right over there, and the relay maintenance structures behind me. You can find the telemetry computer in there. The only thing I know for sure is we need a new phase pulse converter for the tracking computer. Uh, where can I find one? We actually already found one in an old weapons cache, but Flaming Canox ate it. Bruh. Canox ate it? <laughs> That's a problem with Canox. They'll leave you alone if you keep your distance. But if you turn your back on the pests, they'll eat anything they can get in their mouth. Uh, same. Why don't you hunt them down? They're vermin. No challenge for a Mandalorian. Since they provide no sport, we ignore them. Um. So, how do you propose then that I find it? Just gut every cannock you come across. You okay. wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little. That's true. I did find some, like a whole blaster. That's, that makes sense now. This better be worth it. I'll start lurking. All right then. Come back lurking. when you have the we can see about getting these systems working again. Yes, sir, Zuko. We've called off our patrols outside the camp. We usually find some entertainment in clearing out the worst of the beasts. But without our patrols, some of the larger beasts may be around. None of us will be around to bail you out of trouble. You've been warned. Why did you call them off? Our sensors picked up three ships landing in this area after the space battle. If any of the Onderon military come searching for those ships, we don't want them finding our base. Three ships? There was my ship and the Duro ship. Who was the third? I don't know. It was some sort of freighter. It didn't land in any of the clearings along the path. Knowing some of the larger Duxan beasts, the crew's probably already dead. Hmm. Is there anyone else on the moon? Who knows? Relay dishes down, and until Zuko repairs it, hmm. we're blind. He said the Zuko Onderon too. The military has cordoned off the planet, so there shouldn't be anybody else down here. Still, our sensors occasionally pick up signals on the surface. Signals? What signals? It's like someone is searching the planet <laughs> and doing so under the noses of the military. Whoever they are, they've stayed clear of us. Hmm. Why would they search the planet? I don't know. Sun's all jungle except for this camp. Well, can I help then? If you want to pitch in, go ahead. Zuka hasn't been able to get the damn thing up and running. You can find him in the eastern side of camp, just south of the hangars. Look for the sparking wires, and he won't be far. Okay. What did you mean by larger beasts? of a Zakeg wandering the paths around Ooh. here. They're a good challenge for Mandalorians. If you see one, stay out of its way. Without us to back you up, you'll be dead in seconds. Oh yeah? What's a Zakeg? It's a huge red lizard that's built like a Baragwan battle tank. It has a hide so thick it might as well be Durasteel plating. We keep clearing them out of the area, but they keep coming back. They're tough opponents for non-Mandalorians. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you're wrong. You fight a Zakeg. If you survived such a battle, you'd gain much honor. All right. No beast on this moon is a match for me. Strong words. It would be amusing to see you try to kill such a beast. Try the outlying jungle paths if you're determined to seek one out. And bring me back a trophy from your kill as proof of the deed. Gotcha. All right, we've got some stuff to do. Ready to head back to your ship? Give the word and I'll take you there. That's kind of nice. Not right now. I'll be going. 
won't go that way. I don't need to go all the way back to my ship yet. Still more people to kind of talk to around camp. Kex, my what man. Do you want? Okay. You get everyone that way? Ah, uh, just you. You're no Mandalorian. This guy's drunk as a skunk. I don't know why Mandalores let you roam free, but I don't trust you. He's I'm drunk as a skunk. The new quartermaster. If a Mandalorian needs something, they come to me. Mandalore's ordered me to let you have access to our supplies, including some military-grade surplus. It's not free, though. You can pay with credits or trade in some of your gear. Doesn't matter to me. All right. Do you have some sort of problem with me? Yeah, I do. I don't know why Mandalore would let some outsider roam around our camp without an escort. If it were up to me, you would have been shot on sight. Mandalore must think you're something special. True. I am, and you better not forget it. I won't. <laughs> as long as the Mandalore's orders stand. If he wants you dead, though, then I'm going to be the first one gunning for you. All right, fair enough. Uh, how did you end up as quartermaster? The greatest honor for a Mandalorian is to distinguish themselves in battle. But as age comes upon us, some are forced to find honor in other pursuits. They are sisters, freighter pilots, technicians, or quartermasters. There's honor there, but it's nothing compared to the heat of battle. For someone young like me, this task is distasteful. There are many battles left in me, yet I'm relegated to this. Mm -hmm. How did you wind up with the job? My predecessor was loading equipment from Cash D5. Mandalorian engineers must have worked the double shift on that one. The old quartermaster was carrying out a load of blast converters and walked straight into a beam splitter. Pieces of them wound up all over. So oh. I got the job, and here I am. Oh, okay. Can you tell me about the area? It's bad enough I have to stand here and pass out supplies while the others go on patrol. I'm not going to disgrace myself further by being your guide. Mm. The only advice okay. I'll give you is when you're in the jungle, shoot anything that moves. Then shoot the things that don't move, just to be sure. Mm, okay. Like it. Let's see what you got. Um, Mandalorian heavy suit, which is pretty good. Cool. Some good stuff. Achani vibro sword. That's probably, that's probably the best buy. Mm hmm. Mandalorian ripper. Ooh, that's pretty good too. Some pretty good stuff. Um, Mandalorian chamber marks pretty good too. Strengthening underlay. Ooh, that's really good as well. I do kind of want that. I'm going to take that. I'll take that. Uh, that's really good as well. Let's... Let's sell some stuff. I haven't really sold anything. Um, sell these broken items. That's a start. Don't need these data pads. Not really worth anything though. Uh, I can sell one of these, a couple of these. Keep the shields. I could probably sell like three of these though. I don't know if I'll ever use these gloves, except for like one person at a time. So I can sell one of those and it's worth a good bet. Da, da, da. I'll keep the grenades. I'll never use these blaster rifles because I think I just have better ones like that. Uh, I'll sell one of those. Yep, yep. Couple of these, couple of that, scout enforcers. Generally, I like to just kind of keep one of everything. Those are pretty good. I might keep both of those blasters. It's two to nine, fully upgradable with a plus one is pretty darn good. I don't think I'll ever use Binux Blaster. 
Definitely won't use the mining laser or a regular blaster pistol. <clears throat> I need a lot of these. This is insane against droids. So I kind of want to keep that. Again, silencer. I don't think I'll ever be using those. I think I'm going to go ahead and sell all three of these because I don't think I'll ever use them. And they're worth a good amount. Exchange negotiators, same story. Keep the plasma torch. Oh, the Sith battle suit's actually really good. Seven plus seven. Ooh. Don't know when I got that. Also, one of these Jedi Master robes. That's good. It's worth. Okay, go back to the buy list. What else did I see in here that I liked? I kind of wanted this CNS strength enhancer. So that's pretty darn good. The plus two. Yeah, I'll take one of those. I'll take one of those. Yeah. I'll give you that. And now I just need like a workbench bag. Okay, cool. Dropped a stim over there. Now, there was a lab station near Mandalore, but I don't think there was a workbench. Was there? Yeah, it's a lab station. I think there's one somewhere in this camp. Gonna find out. We gonna find out. Metal box. Ooh, I'm stealing their stuff. Okay, maybe that's the pit you can fight in. I think that's it. There's a workbench here. Strengthening underlay. Let's give that. Yes. Sure, sure. I kind of want to go get the firing chamber from Kex. I think I'm going to go get that from him, actually. It's probably a good upgrade for Mira. She was feeling a little weak on the damage side, so I think that's going to help a lot. Let's go see Kex one more time. Because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he had a firing chamber. Pretty sure I saw one. Let's see what you have. Um, yeah. Chamber mark. Yeah, that's good. Less defense, but they're going to be busy focusing on me most of the time. So we'll give her that. Boom. All right. <clears throat> Go upgrade her blaster. And then we'll continue exploring. Seeing what all these mandos need. Upgrade. Mandalorian Heavy Blaster. Slap that on it. Some extra damage. It's gonna be feeling a little bit better. Telemetry. Fixed it. Four spikes, huh? Do a little quick save before we talk to these guys. <laughs> so you are the visiting Jedi. You are as much to look at. Are you here Bruh. to observe or do you seek to prove yourself in the battle circle? Who are you? I am Davro, a Mandalorian warrior. I have yet to taste real battle, so I test my worth in the battle circle instead. Mm. 
Why do you do... He just told me that. Are there rules? A few. No fights to the death. Other parts of our training weed out the weak among us. But that isn't the function of the battle circle. There are individual rules for each fight. The warrior with greater honor determines those. Which in your case means any Mandalorian makes the rules. Okay. Obviously not the one I need to speak to. So, the Jedi comes to grace. The battle circle is reserved only for real warriors. Your Jedi ways won't help you here. Okay. Who are you? For today, I have the honor of commanding the battle circle. I decide who fights who and make sure all the rules are followed. Is this where Mandalorians train? The battle circle is only a small part of our training regiment. A full Mandalorian warrior is a master of many fighting techniques. And here, all of them are tested. If you were to compete, you would have to do so on our terms. For that is the way of the battle circle. Those with great honor decide the terms of engagement. Jedi rely too much on their vaunted powers. They lose touch of the power of their arms and feet. Without your force, would you be a match for even the lowliest of Mandalorian warriors? If you mm. want to try and fight us on our terms, that can be arranged. Okay. Do I get anything if I win? We are not merchants. We are Mandalorians. The only thing gained and lost here is honor and perhaps some skill if you have the capacity to learn. <laughs> I see. None of you are merchants except for Kex. Oh, and you do have a repairman. Do you have janitors too? Be careful when you ridicule a Mandalorian. <laughs> Mandalore hadn't ordered us. Is there anything else you want Whoa. to talk about? I want to fight. You are new here, so you will fight Davro. Oh, he is good. young and has not been able to prove himself in battle. Davro, what are your terms? About to spend no him. weapons, no Jedi tricks, and no items. Just fist and foot. A true test of strength. This might be kind Put of rough. Put your weapon away, Jedi. Don't step out of the circle and pull any death blow. No one dies in the battle circle. Step into the battle circle. Now you will experience a true fight. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy. Let's uh, let's just talk about this. Start with that. Then we'll go into Master Strike. And then a regular attack. And then a Master Strike. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. The match what? between Jedi and Davril is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. Thank you. Davril is just a recruit. I'm not surprised you won this fight. A challenger <laughs> has expressed interest in fighting you. As little honor as you have gained, it is sufficient to accept his request. Let me know if you would fight again. I would fight again. Guys, a little close. Like, I, you couldn't have let me get out of the way first. Okay. I hear you. Here to watch a fight or to... I want to fight. After defeating Davril, you have gained some small honor. There is a challenger for you. He is Kex, the quarterback. <laughs> Since he is the challenger, you get to choose the terms. Why does he want to fight me? As quartermaster, he has little opportunity for any glorious training. He isn't as skilled as Davril. Ooh. No further terms. I can use my lightsaber in the force. He can use anything he wants as well. I will send a runner to Kex. Prepare yourself for your fight, Jedi. Okay. Well, let me equip. The match between Kex and Jedi is over. <laughs> the Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. If you want to fight again, let me know. Broke the game on that one. What is it? Here to watch a fight or to participate. You choose to fight again. Now face a real Mandalorian warrior. Tagrin, what are your terms? Just fist and foot like you fight with Devil. Nothing else. Mm. Tagrin chooses to fight hand to hand. Remember, no weapons allowed, and absolutely no use of your force. Okay, on this one, I feel like we open up with the power attack. 
attack, crit, and then power attack again. Oof. Not a good start. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. I need to land some uh, hits here. Not looking good. Power attacks. Power attacks. Power attacks. Oh! No! Um, wait, did I actually beat him? Did I beat him? The match between Jedi and Tagrin is over. Tagrin is the clear oh. and honorable victor. That was weird. Against any full Mandalorian, it appears you cannot win. Oh, yeah? Maybe it's just RNG. I'm sure that Tagrin could use the exercise. Hmm. <sighs> Goody. Well, let's heal up. I think we can get him. I think we can get him. I need to put on... New opponents. Do I not have anything? Please stick with that. I'm going to have a quick load. Try this again. <laughs>